somebody in Yamama is teaching him by the name of Abdul Rahman. They, they didn't believe that Abdul Rahman was one of the 99 names of the attributes of God. They said that Abdul Rahman is teaching him in Yamama. And then one of their leaders by the name of Abdullah ibn Abu Umayyah ibn al mughira he stood up and he told the Prophet, he said, Muhammad, I won't believe in you. Unless you fly, <laughs> you start flying in the sky, I see you flying. And then I won't believe you have to bring me a book from the sky and I have to touch this book and I have to read it. And even then, I would say that you're a magician, Muhammad. And then the leaders, they told him, Muhammad, we won't believe on you unless you bring us God. We want to see God and we want to see the angels in front of us. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, he did not reply to them. But subhanAllah, the Quran, the verses were revealed to the Prophet, answering, you know, these leaders of Quraysh. And the verses are, وَقَالُوا لَن نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى تَفْجُرَ لَنَا مِنَ الْأَرْضِ يَنْبُوعًا أَوْ تَكُونَ لَكَ جَنَّةٌ مِنْ نَخِيلٍ وَعِنَبٍ فَتُفَجِّرَ الْأَنْهَارَ خِلَالَهَا تَفْجِيرًا أَوْ تُسْقِطَ السَّمَاءَ كَمَا زَعَمْتَ عَلَيْنَا كِسَفًا أَوْ تَأْتِيَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ قَبِيلًا أَوْ يَكُونُ لَكَ بَيْتٌ مِنْ زُخْرُفٍ أَوْ تَرْقَى فِي السَّمَاءِ وَلَن نُؤْمِنَ لِرُقِيِّكَ حَتَّى تُنَزِّلَ عَلَيْنَا كِتَابًا نَقْرَأُهُ قُلْ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّي هَلْ كُنْتُ إِلَّا بَشَرَ الرَّسُولَ I will read the translation of these verses and they're from Surah al uh, chapter Al-Isra where, you know, Allah is taking that encounter and is, you know, defining what happened between him and the leaders of Quraysh. And Allah is saying, and they said, the leaders of, Qur of Quraysh, we shall never believe in you, Muhammad, unless you cause a spring to gush forth for us from the earth. Or if you have a garden of dates, palms, grapes, and then you bring forth rivers from underneath. Or you cause the sky to fall upon us in pieces, as you claimed. Or you bring God, you bring God and the angels so that, you know, we see them face to face. Or when you have a mansion, you know, of gold, or when you ascend to the sky, and we will not believe in you, in your ascension, unless you send down to us a book we may read. Say, God is telling, you know, the Prophet, peace be upon him, say, Muhammad, I proclaim the purity of my God, of my Lord. I am not but a human, and I'm a messenger. SubhanAllah. And this is, remember in the past we had talked about how studying you know the biography of the prophet allows us to understand the quran it's it's one of the best ways in how we can have a good comprehension of the verses other verses were revealed also due to that encounter where allah says وَمَا تَأْتِيهِم مِّنْ آيَةٍ مِّنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِضِينَ فَقَدْ كَذَّبُوا بِالْحَقِّ لَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ فَسَوْفَ تَأْتِيهِمْ أَنْبَاءُ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَهْزِئُونَ أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا كم أهلكنا من قبلهم من قرن مكناهم في الأرض ما لم نوكن لكم وأرسلنا السماء عليهم مدرارا وجعلنا الأنهار تجري من تحتهم وجعلنا الأنهار تجري من تحتهم فأهلكناهم بذنوبهم وأنشأنا من بعدهم قرنا آخرين ولو نزلنا عليك كتابا في قرطاس فلمسوه بأيديهم لقال الذين كفروا إن هذا إلا سحر مبين ولو وقالوا لولا أنزل عليه ملك ولو أنزلنا ملكا لقضي الأمر ثم لا ينظرون ولو جعلناه ملكا لجعلناه رجلا وللبسنا عليهم ما يلبسون ولقد استهزئ برسل من قبلك فحاق بالذين سخروا منهم ما كانوا به يستهزئون Again I will read you the translation of you know how again God is answering those leaders of Quraysh is giving them the answer to all these things that they were demanding. So God says, yet whenever a sign from the signs of God comes to them, they do nothing but turn away from it. So they rejected the truth when it came to them. Now, 
like with your message, Muhammad, there shall come to them a full account of what they used to ridicule. Have they not seen how many generations, you know, before them we have destroyed? We had given such a strong position in the land to the previous generations, but yet, you know, we, we even gave them, you know, the, the rain that they asked for, the gardens and everything, the rivers, you know, that flew beneath them. But yet, we destroyed them because of their sins. And we raised other generations. So, you know, Allah is telling them, you know, you want rivers? You, want, you know, what you care about is rivers and springs and mansions and this. God is telling them, we even destroyed much stronger, you know, people than you, than Quraysh in the past because of their sins. And Allah is answering them here. If we had sent down to you something, you know, written on paper, like, you know, you wanted a book to come, you know, from the, the heaven so that you read. Allah is saying, if we had sent it to you, and even if you have touched it with your hands, still the disbelievers would have said, this is nothing but obvious magic. They would have said, still, they would have said it's magic. They say, they say, you know, the leaders, why is, you know, not an angel that has been sent down? Why didn't God send down an angel? Why did he send us Muhammad, a human being like us? And Allah answers them. He says, had we sent down an angel, the whole matter would have been closed. And thereafter, no further time would have been allowed to them. If an angel, if an angel came down, how, how would we be able to stand, you know, for the angel? Things would have finished. If we made him an angel, we would have obviously made him a man, a person, Allah is saying. Because you guys, you cannot comprehend to angels. You know, your creation is a human. So Allah would have sent you according to your own creation. Would have made him a man and would have caused them the same confusion that they are causing now. And then in the verse, God says that even before you, Muhammad, even before you, Prophet Muhammad, many messengers were ridiculed. So you're not the only messenger to be ridiculed. Many were ridiculed. And those who ridiculed them and those who laughed at them and made fun of them, besieged by what they used to ridicule. So the time will come. So these verses, you know, were revealed and a question comes to us is, why didn't, you know, the Prophet, peace be upon him, give him, you know, some miracles? And we have to remember that we are still in the early stages of the message. The Prophet, peace be upon him, brought many miracles. But, you know, that was after that. So we're, we're now in the early stages. So now the test to Quraysh, to the leaders of Quraysh, is to think, to think to go back to God because they already believed in God. They were on the Abrahamic, you know, heritage, religion, as we had mentioned before. So now the Prophet is trying to get them back to that way of thinking and to leave those idols and to turn back to their roots, to monotheism. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not give him these miracles during this early stage because had he given them any of this miracle, they would have, you know, ridiculed it. See, their, their questioning, their asking for the miracles was not for the purpose that they would believe. It was for the purpose that they are, you know, they wanted to ridicule the Prophet, to make fun of the Prophet. Because even then they were saying that even if you bring us that book, even if we see you flying, even, 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 we're going to say you're a magician. So that was you know the thing, that's why he didn't give him. And then Allah, in another verse, that was Surah, chapter Al-Isra, by the way, in the same chapter, Allah tells us that وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَن نُرْسِلَ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا أَن كَذَّبَ بِهَا الْأَوَّلُونَ So Allah didn't, you know, send these miracles to them, except that, you know, previous generations did not accept it, ridiculed it. Allah tells us, you know, in the same surah that وَأَتَيْنَا ثَمُودَ النَّاقَةَ مُبْصِرَةَ فَظَلَمُوا بِهَا وَمَا نُرْسِلُوا بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِيثَ That, you know, the, the people of Thamud, they had like a camel come up from the earth. You know, it came apart, a camel came in front of their eyes. Did they believe? They didn't believe. 
Moses, Prophet Musa, peace be upon him, he brought them nine different, you know, signs and miracles to his people. They didn't believe. Jesus, Isa, alayhi salam, Isa, alayhi salam, he used to revive the dead to cure the ill. His miracles were numerous. Did his people believe? They didn't believe. So, the asking for miracles, it's not for the purpose that they would believe. They were asking, you know, for these miracles just to ridicule them, to make fun of them. But despite that, subhanAllah, Allah, God sends down the angel Gabriel to the Prophet, peace be upon him. And the angel Gabriel tells the Prophet that Muhammad, if, if you want, we can give him every miracle they asked for. Whatever they asked for, they will be given. But he told them, he said, if they ridicule these miracles, if they make fun of it, if they don't accept the message, then we will destroy them. Like the people before, like they were destroyed, like Ad and Thamud and the tribe of Nuh, Lut, you know, all these generations that Allah had destroyed. So the angel Gabriel is telling the prophet that we will give him what they want, but the condition is if they're going to ridicule, if they're going to, you know, make fun of this, if they're not going to take it seriously and accept the message, they will be destroyed. And here were the prophet, you know, and he, he told them, you know, he told the prophet, the angel Gabriel, that uh, if you want to be patient with them, you can be patient with them. Or if you want, we can give you whatever. And here is the, the famous words of the prophet, peace be upon him, come. Because remember, this is still the early stages of Islam. The prophet had more patience with them, wanted to give them more time. He didn't want to just end this. So he told them his famous words, بَلْ أَسْتَأْنِي بِهِمْ لَعَلَّ اللَّهِ أَنْ يُخْرِجَ مِنْ أَصْلَابِهِمْ مَنْ يُؤْمِ بِاللَّهِ He told them his famous words that, Oh, uh, Gabriel, I will be patient with them. I will give them, you know, more time. Hoping that God might make even their kids accept Islam, accept this message. Subhanallah, it's, it's, it's a big wisdom. It's a big wisdom from Allah, from, you know, our Creator, who always, you know, treats us with mercy. And this is His wisdom, Azza wa Jal, that He treats His slaves with mercy. So Allah wanted to be merciful with them now and didn't want to end them. And again, it's the wisdom of our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, that He wanted to give him more time. Maybe they needed more, even though, as we've covered before, all oh, what have they been doing? And we're going to see more of what else they're going to do, what harm they're going to do to the Prophet, to the believers. Uh, unimaginable what, what they do, all the harm. But yet the Prophet, peace be upon him, you know, didn't you know, want to finish that. Still wanted to give him a chance, if you will. So after that, the leaders of Quraysh, they saw that you know, that they're not getting anywhere with the Prophet, peace be upon him, that this is a Prophet from God, that he is firm on his message, that he wants his message to prevail in Mecca. So they started, you know, like coming up with things to try to divert people from him, peace be upon him. They started, you know, like making things to, to, to tell people that, you know, no, he's, you know, he's lying, he's, he's a magician, you know, all of that. One of the things, one of the interesting things that the historians tell us that they did is, you know, it's, it's the media. The media is in every, you know, every age uh, during history, the media is important. So what, what, what they would do is they would uh, bring poets and one, you know, not only poets, like people who can, you know, talk and who are like good speakers and make him like sit, you know, wherever the prophet is, they would make that speaker sit and start, you know, to talk about their stories, about their, to divert, you know, attention from the prophet, peace be upon him. 
Inshallah, next time we'll talk more about this issue and more about you know, what will happen between the leaders of Quraysh and our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم الحمد لله Thank you very much